Well, I mean, actually defensively, I thought we were really good in the first half. I mean, held them to 16 points for the half. And, um, you know, I think our players were pretty locked in. They hit a long three. A player that hadn't made a three this year hit like a 24-footer. You know, we can accept those type of things. Um, I thought in the second half, they did a really nice job of picking up the pressure and turning us over and um, and trying to fight their way back in. Fortunately, we had some big, I think Megan hit a big three and Shea hit a big three and um, Dina had a great fast break dish for an and one. Uh, so it was, uh, I think Malia had an and one too. So we had some big shots to kind of defray their comeback. Defensively here in the last few games, just what's starting to, to click between the, the units here? I feel like they're really locked in to the scouting reports and understanding how important it is. I mean, we've said it since summer, like, we're only winning as much as our defense take, or going as far as our defense takes us. So um, I think they're figuring that out, and uh, we've been pretty locked in for the last, you know, four or five games. So it's good to see. Uh, I think our transfers are getting more comfortable. Uh, I think Shea had seven points and eight rebounds. Dina had eight points, a um, couple assists. Emily Saunders two for two from the field. So uh, they're, they're getting more comfortable. Our returners are getting more comfortable with them. So I feel like, uh, you know, it's, things are coming together. As far as the newcomers go, just what's been the, the key for them to kind of get situated then? It's just time, <laughs> just time and experience. And, you know, I think um, summer helps a lot and obviously the fall and all the practices, but until you get in game situations and, you know, crucial minutes while you're in there doesn't completely click. And I feel like they're all doing a really good job. Coach, you guys are running a five-game winning streak going into the crucial part of the season where you have the entire week off. Just discuss the challenges, if any, that you're going to have, you know, with this big gap in between playing games. Well, I mean, I don't feel like it's, it's too, too big, but it's exam week. So we're actually giving them an extra day off this week. Um, because, you know, that's our top priority, them doing well in the classroom. So it's very hard to practice, film, weights, you know, school, all that stuff, exams at the same time. So one, we want them to get a little extra rest on their body, and two, they're, you know, they're going to be studying and working hard in the classroom too. So um, hopefully that extra extra couple of days of rest will, will help and we'll be ready for the Friday. Uh, you know, I, I mean, every game's important to us. You know, you you want to win the conference and, you know, you know win those games, obviously. But uh, we prepare that for them pretty much the same. So, uh, you know, we'll we'll have do a little bit less at the beginning of the week, maybe to to add more things at the end of the week when they're most of them are done with exams. For sure. I mean, that was that was big to be able to be two and zero till after Christmas, you know, in the league. And um, you know, I'm trying not to think too much about post Christmas in the league. At that, I'm just trying to take it one game at a time. But it's nice to be, you know, anything other than that is worse than where you're at. So we're happy to be there, and I'm just going to keep working hard to try to stay there. Angels held scoreless today for just her second time, all being of YSU. But something that impressed me was. She was second on the team in assists with four. What does that say about her maturity that she wasn't forcing shots when she wasn't giving the ball and she was just continuing to flow the offense? Obviously, teams are very keyed in to Paige's shooting ability, and that is is it opens you up to get rebounds, to get assists, and things like that. And what's great about Paige is she doesn't care. I mean, she wants to help the team, you know, and she knows three-point shooting is going to help the team. But if she scores zero and gets four assists and it helps us win, she's going to be happy. And that's that's just what's so special about last year's team and this year's team. You know, no one really cares who gets the points, the rebounds, the assists, you know, the steals, whatever. They're just focused on winning and doing whatever it takes. And I think Paige is a great example. I mean, she, she wants to do well, and she's disappointed if she's not making three and that type of thing, but um, ultimately she's very happy that we won the game and um, that's all that matters to all of them.